Welcome back to another episode of Semple's Words, the show where students bring me their questions and I inspire and enlighten them with my incredible insights. And today's guest is Layla. Welcome to the show. Thank you, Mr. Semple. So tell me a little bit about yourself, Layla. Well, I'm a junior from New Orleans. Oh my gosh, Mardi Gras, am I right? Okay, so, so when I was a sophomore, Mardi Gras fell on spring break <laughs> and then... So Layla, uh, Apparently, no one on the show cares about really interesting stories from my youth. As if. What's your question? Okay. Well, I'm an American Studies major, and I'm interested in topics that cover a bunch of different disciplines. I've met with a bunch of different professors from the English department and sociology and performance studies, but I don't know what my next step should be. I have one professor who I think is great, but I don't know what to do now. Do I ask her to be my project sponsor? But I don't even really know what my project is yet, so if she asks me any questions, I have no idea what I'll say. But at the same time, I have no idea how to turn it into a project without her help. What do I do? Interesting. So, so you know who you want to work with, right? Yes, but she is one of the leading scholars in this field. She's not going to have time for me. Layla, 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 you can't think like that. Right, she's faculty at a university. This is part of her job to work with students just like you. And if you really are interested in the same thing, why wouldn't she be interested in helping you out? Someone gave her a start, right? I guess so. But what do I do? How do I ask her? Now, that's a really good question. So, Layla, you know what Google is, right? Um, yeah. Okay, so what I want you to do is I want you to Google her and find her address. Her home address? Exactly. And then what I want you to do is I want you to go there and I want you to knock on the door, maybe bring some flowers or something, and keep knocking on that door. Knock, I don't, knock, knock. I don't know about that. <laughs> what could go wrong? And then when she shows up, you say, I've been thinking a lot about me and you. Uh, no, 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 you, you can't do that. Cut. What is going on? Jamie. <sighs> Molly, you can't interrupt the shot. But we can't tell students to Stalk their professors at home. Why not? Why not? Howard, you can't be serious. I don't think that's appropriate advice to give a student. Plus, I don't think that's what the provost would go for. Provost, whatever. Oh, well, okay, Miss Smarty Pant. You've done undergraduate research before. Why don't you give her some advice? <sighs> Read some of her scholarship, like an article or book chapter she wrote, so that you're familiar with her work. And then send her an email. Say that you read her research, why you think it's really interesting, and ask to set up a meeting where you can talk about what she does and what you're interested in. But I don't want to bother her. Well, Howard was actually right about something earlier. Oh, I was. <sighs> yes. She works at the university and you're a student here. Plus, you want to talk to her about what she's devoted her life to studying. Faculty like that since most of the time they're teaching classes that the school wants them to teach and not what they study. Yeah, your job is to write an email that is easy to say yes to. You want to show her that you've done your homework and you're interested in learning more. Maybe throw in your availability for the next few weeks. That's always an easy yes. And remember, you may have to send more than one email. Faculty are really busy and get email fatigue and forget to respond just as much as we do. But what if she says yes? Then you go talk to her. You tell her what you're interested in and how it connects to what she does and ask for her advice. Ask her if there's anyone you should talk to, if there's anything you should read. If the two of you connect on this project, then maybe you can talk about ways she can get formally involved. Yeah, just don't start with that, especially in the email. If a faculty member doesn't know you yet and then you ask for a job or for them to sponsor a project, then that's easy to say no to. She doesn't know you yet. That's really helpful, thank you. See, Howard? I think that's more in line with what the provost wants. See how successful your show is? That was very good advice. Maybe you should co-host the show with me. That'd be cool. Can I have a chair? Hey, 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 let's calm down a little bit. One good piece of advice does not a host therefore make. Let's all remember who the seasoned expert is here. Me? Yes, you are, Howard, and Molly will keep her position as the intern. Let's just end the show, okay? So join us next week for another episode of Sample's Words. 
the show where I will get you the bestest advice, even if it comes from somewhere else. Hey, and uh, stay tuned for our special episode about my trip to New Orleans. Cut. Cut.